Imagine you'll be saying it wasn't your best game. No, it wasn't. Uh, obviously, I'm happy with the win and all that, but it was probably one of the hardest games I've ever played in a long time. Um, my form has been really good coming into this tournament, and I've had so many people saying that I'm going to do well in all that. And you get up there, and I mean, I, I think I missed the ball for a 1 6 1 for a 12 dot of the first leg. And after that, it just seemed to go downhill. It was like I was worrying what they were thinking because everyone's been telling us for weeks, you know. So I would imagine, though, when it wasn't working, that must have sort of you would have had to have a word with yourself and start to focus. What did you do? Um, I took a few more gulps of water, slowed the game down a little. Usually, I'm just like a fluent player that just throws without mm. even aiming. Just start to try and aim a few of them. Uh, still, I would aim and get one in the treble and then try and follow it up with my normal fluency and it wasn't, it was going in the treble one of the one, so I was having to try, it's not like me to concentrate with every dart, but I was, try, I was having to do it up there. You were telling me yesterday you're trying a little bit of hypnotherapy to try and help you along? Yeah, the hypnotist is great, uh, Stephen from Belfast, I mean, Daryl's just started, Daryl Fitton's just started doing it, I've had a few other players try and I've been with them since about August and... It's just so great. Um, I've done a little session myself with a CD player the other day, and it's just great. It gives you that little bit of confidence. Five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, up on that stage, I would have gotten frustrated and probably lost the game. Mm -hmm. Stevens helped me to stop getting frustrated. Obviously, Lakeside showed that this year as well. I had a great Lakeside. Um, and I'm hitting a lot more doubles. Didn't, it didn't show at the night. I, I think he has to send us another tip. <laughs> but no, he's been working very, very hard with us on this thing. And I, I've, I've, I've got another company called Let's Train Darts, and they've got a new system that's going worldwide soon. I've been using that for the last six months, uh, six to eight months. And it looks like a baby's thing, but it really shows you what you can do, never mind what you can do. Right, let's take a look at the state of play in this Masters, uh, with Robbo winning through to the next stage. Adams has beaten Douglas, and it's Adams against Glenn Durant in the quarterfinals. Just seen Gary go through. He's going to play the winner of Scott Waits, so Ewan Hislop. That's coming up in a moment. Also later tonight, with Stanley against Hofstra, uh, West against Kist, Russ Montgomery against Martin Phillips, and Robbie Green against Mr. Bunting. Now, if we could add the Masters title to his success in winning the Grand Slam of darts, Scott Waits would be very, very...